Have you ever wasted precious minutes and hours in your day trying to find something in Google Ads? You were there last time, but for some reason today, you just can't find where you need to go. So you're clicking different buttons, but you're just getting nowhere. To make sure that you don't waste time when you're optimizing your Google Ads campaigns, you need to understand the layout of Google Ads, but more importantly, you need to know how you can navigate easily to the most important sections of the Google Ads dashboard. In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you the layout of the Google Ads dashboard, and once you actually know this layer, it's very, very easy and simple to navigate every time you're in Google Ads. Secondly, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly navigate to where you need to be in Google Ads. And then finally, I'm gonna give you some pro tips on how you can drastically reduce the amount of time that you spend on your Google Ads optimizations. My name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. This is how your Google Ads dashboard will look when you first enter into Google Ads. Now this is pretty much the way that the Google Ads dashboard has looked since 2017. In 2017, this is when Google Ads did a major update of its Google Ads dashboard. And since then, while there has been some different tweaks and different upgrades, the dashboard itself has stayed fairly much the same since 2017. To make optimizing Google Ads campaigns easier, you need to firstly understand the main layout of Google Ads. So what I want you to look at here is there's actually three columns as you go across. There's this main column, and then from here, there's a sub column and then this is what we call our main optimization column or dashboard so let's start over from the left now this first column the one that's furthest to the left is this is where you actually go through and select your major campaigns that you want to optimize so if you click on these three little buttons up here you can actually filter this so that you're only seeing your campaigns which are currently enabled or you can actually click through and actually see all of the ones which have removed that you're not using anymore. And the other thing that you can actually do is you can actually view by campaign types. So you are actually able to filter it down here by the individual campaigns, but also your campaign types. So from here, if we were to select search campaigns, in this middle navigation column or the sub navigation column, it's showing us all the campaigns, but it's only gonna be showing us the search campaigns. The same as if we go to display, it's showing us the campaigns, but only those display, and then finally for shopping. And the same would be true that if you had any local campaigns or any other type of campaigns running, that you would actually see these core headings through here. But for this campaign, we're only running search, display and shopping, and that's why we're only seeing these three options. So this first one on the left, the easiest way to think about it is that's your main menu bar or your main navigation bar. And then the second one in the middle here is this is your subheading or your sub navigation bar. So once again, if you go to search campaigns, all of this data in here is only gonna to relate to your search campaigns. Or if you wanna to go to a specific campaign, all this data in here will actually only relate to this specific campaign. So one of the things you do need to note there is when we've got all of the search campaigns, it does show a list of all of the campaigns. But if we were to select one of these individual campaigns, that campaign is changed to an ad group because we've filtered it out saying we only wanna see data around this navigation. So one of the biggest issues that I have found is that sometimes people can't find things and what they don't realize is if they go over to this main navigation heading is that they've actually selected the wrong type of campaign or they've selected an individual campaign and that's why they can't see the rest of the data. The other thing that you will note is that sometimes in Google Ads, you'll actually have this closed. And you can see here this with this little arrow. So if you ever have an issue where you can't find a campaign on an ad group, what you need to do is just go over to the main navigation, click on the all campaigns, and then that will allow you to see all of your different campaigns and ad groups that you've currently got in Google Ads. So the first thing that you need to know about the Google Ads layout is you're looking at as three columns. So firstly, there's our main navigation column, there's our sub navigation column, and then the dominant column is where you're actually seeing all of the Google Ads data, and you're seeing your keywords, you're seeing your ad copy. So this is where you're actually going through and making those optimizations and edits in your campaign. So there's those three columns running across the Pay. The other thing that you need to be aware of is that there is actually a top menu bar. Now, as we're looking at this top menu bar, these actually relate to your whole account. If you're running an MCC or a multi-client account, you'll actually be able to navigate to all of your different other campaigns just through this drop-down button. When we're moving across to here, you see some different sections. Now, we'll come back to the search bar, but through here, you do have some built-in reporting. Now, with the reporting, I actually find this a really powerful little menu, but what it's important to remember here is that this reporting is giving you just that. It's giving you data 
data and reporting, it's actually not where you go to make any changes. So you're not gonna be going here to do any optimizations. In this reporting menu, it's purely giving you some different reporting options. Now, I'm not gonna be going through all of these different options. You can go through and have a look at those, but I will show you one example of a report that I will run a lot of the time, and that's if we're doing a call campaign. We can actually go through, go to extensions, and you can see your core details, or if you're running some site links, you can see your individual site links. And let's just go into site links. And this starts to give us some data on the individual site links. And what you can actually do in here, if you wanna see some extra data, so you can see in here, we're only seeing at the moment the clicks, the impressions, the click-through ratio, and the CPC. If we wanted to go through and actually add it in some conversion data, we can add that in here, and you can see through here, the conversion data is now added into that report. So as the name suggests, this reporting data is very much where you're gonna be able to get some different reports in and around your Google Ads. Now the other main core heading that you wanna be looking at is this is your tools and settings. So once again, in the tools and settings, this isn't where we're gonna be undertaking some different optimizations. This is all around core information about your account. So in here with the planning, these is where you've got things like your keyword planner. In your shared library, this is things where you have you know, some advanced skills like if you've got shared budgets and audience managers. If you're starting out in Google Ads, you probably won't really won't use this section. The same too with bulk actions. If you ever did wanna add in some different rules and scripts, this is where you see those. From here, if you want to go into your measurements, so this is where you can actually quickly go through and navigate to your conversion. So this is probably an action you will use even as a beginner. So from there, you go in tools and settings, and then you can just bring out your conversion data from there. And then these last two, obviously this first one with the setup, it goes through into the round about your different access. So if you wanted to give access to a new party, this is where you would do that. And then finally, in this billing section is where you'd go to things like changing your credit card details, seeing your current invoices, and also seeing if there's any extra payments that you need to make at the moment. So as a wrap up for your navigation, this top bar is where you're more going to general information. So you're not looking at doing optimizations in this top bar, but for this core section of Google Ads, the important thing to remember is that you've got those three columns across the page. The two navigations, so the main navigation, sub-navigation, and then this main dashboard where you actually go and do all of the individual optimizations in Google Ads. I hope you're enjoying the teaching so far so that I can continue to produce these Google Ads teaching videos, can you please do me a favor and not only like this video, but subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, let's get to the next point. Now the second point that we want to discuss about the Google Ads dashboard is all about navigation. And what I wanna show you here is how you can actually quickly get to the different parts of Google that you need to get to in order to update your ad copy or, or check your keywords. And there's two main ways that you can go about it. First, you can go through these navigation columns that we spoke to. So if you wanted to go through and check on an individual search campaign, you would go to search campaigns, and then you can either go to the individual search campaign that you want to hear, or if you wanna see how all of your search campaigns are doing, you can do this in this section. So from here, you can see this overview section. Now remember when I said at the start of the video that Google Ads did a core update in 2017, and this was the main update that they did, is they added in this overview section, which is a really handy section. So what you need to look at from here as well is if you wanna see how your search campaigns are performing, you can actually go through and change these. So you can see, I wanna see what my cost is. We wanna see our conversion value cost, which is like a ROAS. And then we also wanna see our conversion rate. Now, the other thing that what you can do in here, which is really, really powerful, you can actually compare it to the previous period and the previous year. And when you do that, it gives you a really quick update on how your campaign is performing versus the previous period. So in here, we've got the last 14 days. So obviously this is comparing January and February through to those 14 days in January. And the thing that I like about this feature is it very, very quickly lets me know how my search campaigns are going at a quick glance. So I can go in here and I can see that over the last 14 days, we've seen our ROAS has increased, our conversion rate has increased, and our conversion value has increased. So from a very quick glance, we know how that is performing. But then what we can also do is if you wanted to see that on individual campaigns, you can click on those campaigns and this will automatically bring the data up for all of those individual campaigns. So we can look through and actually go through and see which are the campaigns that we need to spend some more time on. Now, the other thing to note from here is if you want to, you can actually go into the individual ad group. If we wanna go through and optimize some different ad groups, we can just go through and you're going in through campaign and then ad groups. And you can see through here, this is where you would actually go through and see 
Do we want to see how our ads are performing, how our extensions are performing? You know, we can review our landing pages and then our keywords. So obviously I'm not going to go through each individual line because it is quite self-explanatory. The main thing that I want to show you through here is that it's all about using this navigation plane. So you're going search campaigns or shopping campaigns, and then you can go into the individual campaigns and the individual ad groups. So the other option for navigation that I wanted to show you is let's just say that you got into Google Ads and you know that you want to go straight away and review your keywords. You can go and use this search function and search keywords. And from here you could go, today I wanna to go see my search keywords and this will straight away bring you to all of your keywords. Now the other thing that you could you would have seen there is that when you typed in keywords, if you wanted to, you could actually go into your negative keywords. So the big thing to note here is that when you type in a search function, it can take you to all of the different things that relate to keywords. So it could be your keyword planner or it could even be that you wanted to go and see your auction insights. The same thing true if we were to write ads, it automatically brings up everything in regards to ads or ad groups, ad scheduling. So I will sometimes use this if I know that I'm going into Google Ads to complete a specific action. What you can do is just use this search function type in what you wanna do and then that will give you those options. So that's also the second way that you can go and navigate in Google Ads. So the first option is to use these columns that we spoke about and the second option is to use this search function. Hey, also to help you with the Google Ads optimizations, I wanna give you access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. Now this is a checklist that's gonna help you with your Google Ads optimizations because it shows you what you need to optimize in Google Ads every week, every month and every 90 days. Let's get back to the teaching. Now, the last thing that I wanted to share with you today on how you can go about and navigate in Google Ads is I wanna give you some tips to drastically use the time that you're spending in Google Ads. And the three tips I wanna talk about is columns, segments, and filters. So firstly with columns, now you can see this through in here where we go to columns, is that when you're in Google Ads, it'll give you uh, some set columns, but sometimes these columns actually won't be with the data that you need to see. So let's just say that you're in a search campaign and you're in keywords and you wanna actually check your keyword quality score. But if Google Ads actually hasn't put that column in for you, you can quite easily check that by just going to columns, modify columns. And then when you're in there, you can use this search function and we wanna see about quality score. So once again, as soon as we started typing quality score, we can see that and we can add quality score in there. Now, the other thing that we can actually do as well, you can actually drop and drag these to actually have them in the order that you like to see them. Obviously, everyone has their different things that they wanna look at, but you can actually see there is so much data that you can actually see here in Google Ads. So there's all the conversion data. There's these bid simulators where you can actually see how much extra you would need to pay to, in order to get a certain amount of clicks. And the good thing with all of these different attributes is if you see here, if you just do a quick rollover, Google actually has built in and given you a description of what each of these metrics actually mean. So I'm not gonna go through and explain all of these because as you can see, it actually gives you this data specifically for what you wanna look at. So what I would recommend is that when you're actually going through this, is have a look at the different columns that you can add and then you'll actually get to decide what data is actually important for you and what you actually wanna see in there. Now, the second thing I wanted to talk about is segments. Now I find segments really, really powerful when you're reviewing your campaigns and also your ad groups. And what I would generally use, if you go to segment in here, you can actually segment it by a conversion action. And this is the main one that I use and I find this to be a really great tip. And let me show you the difference here. So for example, if we were in our search campaigns and we wanted to see the overview, we can actually see here the cost, we can see the conversion value cost, we can see a conversion rate. You know, we can go in and put in our, our CPC. We can actually go in and put our conversions, but that's for the whole search campaign. And then if we were to bring this down in here, it would bring up one of those individual campaigns. But if we go into this campaign sections and then add that segment, and we can actually even do it for all campaigns. So that way you're not just doing it for your search, you can do it for your shopping and every campaign that you're running. And when you go segment conversions, we are actually now starting to see that the conversion data is actually dropping down from here. So we can actually go through and quickly see that we can rank it by cost. So we're seeing our most expensive ones. And we can actually see that, yes, we're spending the most money in this campaign. And and it's actually also providing us the highest level of conversion data. And when we go into this cost per conversion data, we can really quickly see which campaigns need more work because we've added in that extra segment. So you'll find segments to be a really, really powerful tool that you can use to very, very quickly see which campaigns you need to spend extra work on. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about was filters. Now I find filters very, very important, especially when you're dealing with different keywords and ad copies. So I'm just gonna give you an example here of how I use some different filters. So 
So with our search terms, now in this campaign, they run kids earmuffs, but they were starting to show for fluffy earmuffs and that had to do with Google defining fluffy and earmuffs as the same thing. So what you can actually do is that we added in a filter and we're gonna go search terms, you can put search terms and then we can actually write in here, we wanna see any search terms which contain the word fluffy. And as you can see through here, we've already gone through and excluded these, but this is a, a really quick, powerful tool that you can actually filter out some different keywords that you wanna see. And the same is also true for ads. If you wanted to add a filter, let's just say you're running a, a campaign at the moment and you have a discount on it, you can actually go to the ad text and let's just say that you had a limited offer. You could then actually type in limited and then when you click apply, that would show all of the ad copies that actually have that word limited in it. And the other thing that you can do with your filtering in here is I've actually added in a filter called ad text contains original. Now the reason for why I've done this is that some of our ad copies include the call out action by the original baby earmuffs, obviously because this product was the first one to market. And because we've filtered that, what we can actually do is we can actually see from here these total filtered ads that's letting us know the conversion rate of the ads that include the word original versus the total account. So this is a really, really quick way that you can actually start to actually get some data on how some extra ad copies are working and you could also do this for keywords. But that's why I love that filtering tool is because it allows me to quickly go down to the bottom of the table and see how my filtered ads or filtered keywords is performing versus the rest of the account. So that does give you some really powerful information to know how your filter is working versus other keywords words and ad copies. Thank you so much for joining me on this teaching video. I hope that quick tutorial on how to actually use the Google Ads dashboard will save you a lot of time the next time that you're in Google Ads. Also, before you go, make sure you grab a copy of my Google Ads optimization checklist. You can grab it by following the link in the description below. And this is that checklist that will show you what you need to optimize in Google Ads every week, every month, and every 90 days. And finally, if you wanna watch some extra videos on how you can best optimize your Google Ads accounts, why don't you go through and check out this playlist where I've included all of my Google Ads optimization videos. Thank you again and see you soon.